Today I'm going to be petting alligators and enjoying some Cajun music after I overeat. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. Hey guys, I'm here with Dwayne, just filling up with some gasoline before I head over to Nottaway Plantation. Say hi, bro. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Lake Charles, Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, so I stopped off here at Oil and Gas Park about 30 miles out of Lafayette, Louisiana because there's supposed to be a gator chateau where I'm supposed to be able to hold a little alligator and stuff so I thought that was cool. Are they freaked kind of at first? Are they being handled? Are they uh, kind of yeah, freaked out like pretty yeah, bad? Yeah, like he's he's bad. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty docile though, huh? Surprisingly, All right, like well, uh, pretty used to people calling him there. Yeah. Um, it's kind of windy out here, but uh, here's some gators. I got to hold one of the baby ones. Um, they're all rescued from the wild, like either injured somehow, and then uh, they nurse them to health here. Hey guys, so I just showed up here at Randall's. It's supposed to be a Cajun food and live music slash dance hall. So I thought it would be cool to come and grab some more of the food and uh, experience some of the local culture and dance. Hey guys, to start off with here, I'm doing some chicken and sausage gumbo with a little bit of rice as an appetizer before I hit the main course here in a moment. So this is looks so good. It's a uh, Monterey Jack chicken and uh, mashed potatoes with some bacon, I guess. Uh, sounds amazing. I'm over here at Randall's, just got wrapped up, headed out of here. It's been a really good time, this trip so far. Uh, this place was awesome, the food was great. I really suggest it. Get over to the uh, Facebook page if you wanna see some of the things that I ate and uh, see a little bit of the, more of the music and uh, the dance hall. It was awesome having the opportunity to experience the uh, culture here and now it's time to go and hit the stealth camping spot later if you look over there i'm going for the safety net tonight uh different city i didn't really get to cruise around so just found the closest walmart and uh that's where i'm gonna make my uh urban camping spot for tonight i'm gonna rush off in the morning so get out there guys, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you're doing something every day to help reduce world suck. Peace guys.